Hi everyone. I want to teach you a lesson to help you enjoy life more. As I go through this video, I need to ask that you won't overthink what I've got to say today and instead be yourself and not let your defense rise up. There's going to be times when people see you and they default to a predefined notion of what you represent. And in those situations, you need to be yourself and not default to being someone who defends yourself. At least that's how I approach these situations. So let me break this down into tangible terms. There are going to be times when people see me in my wheelchair and they default to a paradigm of what a person in a wheelchair should be or be like. You know, in those situations, you need to let who you are shine through you and not defend why someone's in a wheelchair. And quite honestly, not everyone needs to know your background. Now, this doesn't just apply to people that are in a wheelchair. Let's say I see you walking down the street. You know, people may see this red, you know, that goes around your neck you know, and not see the real you. Sometimes we're not going to be understood. Sometimes we're not going to connect with people that perhaps you want or need to because you're feeling emotionally vulnerable at that time. It's the core group of friends that can help shape you support you, and listen to you when you're going through these situations. Being who you are, being true to your values, your principles, and generally what you stand for in life is what people need to see, not you acting in a role of what it's like to be in a wheelchair or not fall into someone's paradigm of what you should be like so that you're faking it. If you've been staying home, either because you're suffering with mental illness or you're scared of what someone's going to think, when they see you using a wheelchair or on crutches, you need to let that go and live your life. And sometimes living your life is challenging yourself where you step outside your comfort zone. Not every time is going to be rewarding, but there's going to be times where you step outside your comfort zone and it pays off or you learn something new about yourself or you grow as a person. You know, if you think about when you're born, you have a whole big world around you to learn about. Don't let people who have hurt you, don't let life events that may have hurt you and don't let the possibility of what someone may think about you be not or not be who you're going to be and not let you be frozen in time, not living your life. In other words, when you go out of your home, when you go outside your comfort zone, the activities that bring joy in life don't always happen at the home and you're going to need to step outside 
in order to feel fulfilled and to build relationships and in much broader terms, simply to live your life. I'm not wanting you to go to the polar opposite where if you legitimately need to rest, you've, your disabilities flared up, you're overtired, you're tired and hungry. There are times when it's legitimately needed to stay home, even if it's emotionally hard to do because you're taking care of yourself. I'm not wanting you to get that mixed up with living your life. You do have to take care of yourself you know, when we get into our adult worlds, it's hard for someone to tell you to go to bed at 8.30 because that's what you need. But you need to take care of yourself and not be harming yourself unintentionally by staying up late or not eating healthy or engaging in activities that are harmful to you. I understand life's a process Sometimes anger takes time to work through. Don't lose your focus in life because of what someone else thinks of you. Thanks so much for this time that you spent with me today. Bye for now.